Al is asking about having a better ID associated with customers in the CRM. The goal is to have both the date and a consecutive number. The good news is that consecutive number is very easy. There's a <coughs> system in the CRM called auto numbers. So we can add a contact number or a customer number, whatever you want to call it, auto number, which will start at one. It can start at whatever you would like it to. You can see here, I've got it starting at 1,408, yeah, <laughs> that number. And then the other thing we can do, we can add in the contract start date using a formula field. The way we do that, we have a new formula with a string type. And then what we do, we use concat, which is adding bits of the string together. We're using the contact number at the front. Then we've got a hyphen. And then we have the date field here. I'm just using date of birth, but you would use date contract signed. With that all set up, the end result looks a bit like this, where you have the auto number and then you have the date field. And if you wanted it to look a bit differently, rather than having it with the time at the end as well, what you could do is where I've got to string, instead you could have year, and then you could have, I think you probably have to do to string here as well. And then we could do the month and the day. can consult here to understand what is available. So you can see month exists, and then we'll need day of month as the final one. So now, in order to recalculate the formula, we'll just need to resave it. You can see it looks a bit like that, which may or may not be useful, but you could play around with it. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how you could structure a more useful customer designation rather than relying on this very long ID up here.